Hey everyone, Chad here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix PlayStation 5 controller analog stick drift using three easy methods that require no tools. So all you need is your hands and your controller. So if you have both of those things, let's get started. So the first method I found that helps fix stick drift on your controller is to first push the analog stick to the side, and you wanna pull up a little bit, which is gonna create a space between the analog and the body of your controller, and you wanna blow into that area that is created. This is similar if you've had an N60 game cartridge blowing into that essentially the same concept potentially pushing any dust buildup or particles into the body of the controller and make sure you do the exact same thing around the entire circumference so pulling to the pushing to the side and pulling up and blowing into that space and hopefully that will remove any dust buildup or particles now if that doesn't work and you're still experiencing some stick drift we'll move on to method number two so method number two is a similar concept you want to push your analog stick to the side and you want to press down on on the space that's created here and you want to hold it just for a few seconds don't push too hard or you could potentially break your controller so please be careful and again similar concept after you've done that you want to work around the circumference of the analog stick ensuring that you get all the spaces and again this could help remove any dust buildup or particles and if this step doesn't work if you've gone through methods one and two and neither of those have helped hopefully method number three will work so method number three is you want to make sure to push down on both your analog sticks at the same time just like this and you want to hold for about 10 to 15 seconds to ensure that um, any dust buildup or particles is pushed down and from here while you're pushing down now we're going to be doing this next step which is critical so make sure that you're pushing down on both the analog sticks and from here we're going to be doing a counterclockwise movement five times so one two three four and five and now you want to continue to push down and now we're going to be going in the opposite direction so one two three four and five and now you can release at this point and one last time we're going to be pushing down on the analog sticks in case there's any build up dust or debris that had been moved around while we were doing that and hopefully any of that will be pushed into the body of the controller now if none of these three methods works you could also do a few different things for example if you had an air pressure can you could push to the side pull out and blow into the space that's created here similar concept to method number one and if that doesn't work at that point you're probably going to have to take apart your controller which is going to require some tools but again hopefully these first three methods will have helped you so if any of these methods helped fix your PlayStation 5 controller stick drift, be sure to leave a comment and a like on the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.